Matanchi, tip 21. Since everything is a reflection of our minds, everything can be changed. I have often taught people about the past and about the future and about the present time. We are all living in the present time, but we forget that we can remain in the present time and move along at a simple pace. It is simple to be in the present time because it is so much lighter. The past from yesterday, the day before or before that, does not have to be inside with us when we are in the present time. The future and any worries about the future do not have to press upon us when we are in the present time. There is only the lightness of the present time. Since everything is a reflection of our minds, everything can be changed by our minds. What you think and ponder on becomes the inclination of your mind. The inclination of your mind turns into a solid intention. An intention moves forward into action of words or physical actions. We are very powerful beings but we have forgotten this by the pressures put upon us by COVID-19. COVID has trapped us. Our natural development as an individual has been put on hold. We should look at this as a test, a test of a kind of adversity, but it's also a kind of poverty. This poverty is that we have lost our way with our individual development. But then we must remember the law of Anicca. All of these things are woven together. Anicca, everything is impermanent. The dukkha that happens is thrust upon ourselves. It is from the reflection of our mind. If we reflect, and we are reflecting on the unwholesome side, then we can fall down into adversity and poverty in a heavy way. If we continue to be mindful and have thoughtfulness for others, and have humility in all that we do and patience, we will see that Anicca brings forth change. Everything can be changed by our minds. So for the day we remember, since everything is a reflection of our mind, in a moment we can smile and turn around the way we feel. Everything can be changed by our minds. Sadu, sadu, sadu.